every couple times. Look at me, we're talking to each other. At two, two. Steel parts. <laughs> I right. set you up for it. I, I whiffed it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Cutting Corners with Jim and Jake. Today we're talking about one of my favorite materials, G90. Yep, G90 is just a galvanized coated mild steel. So to get into this, like, what is it? Why is it good, right? Um, it's basically what it is. It's a hot dipped zinc uh, mild steel. So they just take mild steel at the mill, dip it through hot liquid zinc, it sticks mm -hmm. on there. Uh, G90 is called G90. There's actually different G numbers. There's G30, G90, G, yep. I don't even know. Um, and it that's referencing the thickness of the zinc coating. What the zinc is doing is it's a sacrificial anode. Um, just like you might have on your boat uh, by the motor, there'll be a, a zinc anode. And what that does is it, it will, uh, what does it do? Uh, it's essentially... It's, it's, it's yeah, sacrificial. Well, if yes. there's electrolysis in the water, yes. instead of attacking uh, anything steel, it'll go for the zinc first because the zinc is more better with chemistry. I don't know, positive electrons or electrons something? I don't really stuff, know. I'm sure. My wife will correct me. We're sheet metal this. guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a pre-coated material, right? So yeah. it comes to us pre-coated, we cut it and stuff. And so that actually is a formable coating though. So it's, it's yes. different than powder coating, anodizing, all those where we have to do the forming before, we can actually do the forming after the coating, right? So Yeah, when we when we bend it, it doesn't crack or anything. It's very, very malleable. Zinc is a really soft material. Yep. Uh, it's also inexpensive. So oftentimes if you're using mild steel, uh, if you're gonna put it out in the weather, or even if you just live in a humid area, uh, you're gonna need to put some sort of coating on it, like paints or powder coats or plating or whatever. Zinc uh, or G90 is already coated, so it's ready to go. It's it's yep. really inexpensive. Uh, it's usually almost equal to uh, mild steel. Yeah, and that's why we see it commonly used in electrical boxes at your, your house. Um, like the, here's a part that's very similar to an electrical box um, panel. We also see it in computer um, cages and stuff, custom computers and stuff. We see that a lot. Yep. As well as you know, your galvanized fence, so it always kind of holds up to that outdoor usage as well. So yeah, let's do some check boxes. <laughs> so we don't get Are we lost. In line? We were we were told by producer Sarah to not get lost yeah. anymore. Um, so it saves money. It's did you say faster? No, we haven't gone down there yet. Oh, okay. Okay, we pre-checked it. It is faster. Um, yeah, so it it does save money and it's because it's pre-coated, right? So we're not doing that additional coating. You get this pre-coated part right to your door. Yeah. Um, speed wise, it's I guess still pre-coated, right? And so yeah. Um, it's, just, it's something that it's not gonna add lead time to your parts. So if you're looking for a corrosion resistant, um, you know, metal finish. Yeah. If you have mild steel, you're gonna, or we're gonna cut it, we'll bend it, then we'll powder coat it. So powder coating is gonna add, you know, two or three days. Whereas this stuff, it's coated, ready to go, goes out the door. So, uh, or if you're gonna paint it yourself, even if you receive mild steel, plain parts, uh, you know, to your door, yeah. you're gonna have to prep it, paint it, you know, it's gonna take you a couple of days in your driveway or whatever, uh, whereas this stuff's ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what to what to avoid, what mistakes well, so, and stuff to avoid? Yep, yeah, so welding, right? So welding, anything that's zinc plated um, can often cause a lot of health issues, right? And so it's called the zinc shakes. Um, yeah. You know, it's something that actually has a very big health effect. So yep. if you are gonna weld this stuff, make sure you grind back the zinc coating completely until you see bare mild steel. Respirator, it. Yep. respirator while you're grinding. Yep. Uh, get it down to bare, then weld. Uh, if you are ever welding something and you, you'll see these like, it's like stringy smoke. It almost looks like spider webs that are floating. That's a really bad sign. Yep. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, um, another thing is additional top coatings on this for cosmetic reasons, typically, this has a little bit of an oily finish on it. It's very difficult to get cleaned up and stuff. So powder coating it isn't necessarily a great option yeah. um, or even painting it yourself. You're gonna have to do a lot of surface prep, really sand it, do a lot of cleaning and stuff to remove all the oils from it. So we recommend using G90 as its actual yeah. use surface it, finish. Use right? it naked, it's ready to go. If you want something that's colorful or you're gonna paint it or whatever, just use mild steel, use aluminum, use something else. Yep. 
Yeah, um, so traditional plating, so you can also get your parts plated, right? These are all alternative alternatives and stuff that we can okay. look into. Um, you can also just get mild steel and have it powder coated, right? So the powder coating won't be sacrificial. So it's not going to have a long term if the powder coating fails. It's not going to be sacrificing itself to keep it from rusting. Yep. But you will get that cosmetic finish with the mild steel. Um, so one thing uh, I want to talk about, too, is the edge. So at the mill, they take a coil of mild steel. And like I said, they dip it through that hot tank. That means that the surface is coated. But when we go and actually cut holes or cut the edge, that's going to be raw, exposed stuff. So customers often write in and they're like, hey, is the edge going to rust or are my holes going to rust? No. Uh, again, it's a sacrificial coating. It attracts all of those electrons or whatever is going to cause the corrosion. Um, so uh, to do a little demonstration, yeah. we actually soaked up all of these parts in salt water uh, in and out. We did a dip for seven days. Yep. So mild steel here, mild steel, mild steel. And then this is a uh, G90 that was in the same tank. And you can see that there's like a little bit of surface imperfection where that harsh environment started attacking the zinc, uh, but the steel underneath it is fine. So uh, I think that covers just about everything. Yeah, I yeah. mean, so G90 will offer a handful of different thicknesses. We also offer hardware installation, bending, um, so you can you know add a lot of different flavors and stuff to these yeah. um, to make it. We off, like I said, we often see a lot of computer stuff come through, yep. cages and stuff. Um, you know, these parts right here are mating parts. I think we might be able to do it in here. So you have an electrical box yeah. just like that. It's super handy, really versatile, inexpensive. Um, give it a try. If you have any yeah. questions, hit us up in the comments below and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.